The fourth step in setting up sales tax codes is assigning a sales tax code to an item. Let's come here under lists and let's come into our item list. Let's maximize this window and let's come here into cabinets. You can see our sales tax code is set here to taxable. That's because cabinets are normally a taxable item. Let's look at another item. Let's come up here under framing labor. In most states, labor is non-taxable. You can see here the tax code for framing labor is non-taxable. Check with your state or your CPA regarding taxable and non-taxable items. This is the default setting for framing labor. When we invoice any particular item within QuickBooks, we can always change the taxable or non-taxable setting on the invoice.